Hey, boo, hey, it's Diva. I'm here once again with another message. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So what I heard was you and this person have a soul contract. This is the reason why it's been so hard for you to detach from this person. There's some type of soul contract. Um, you may have entered into this contract without even knowing it and possibly could be stuck until you cut this course or reverse the contract. That's right. So if you're interested in listening to the rest of this message, be sure to continue watching. Hey, hey, this is a public service announcement. I wanted to let you guys know I am doing personal sessions with you guys and they're only $25 for the month of March. That's right for Women's International Month. That's right, I'm here to exclusively give you guys this special. So be sure to send your cash out dollar sign Diva TV or dollar sign Tara Diva and you can put in the fourth section, put your number there and I'm gonna hit you up. Since they're full sessions together, we're gonna connect one-on-one -on -one, and it will be over the phone. So make sure you hit me up. Okay guys, thank you guys for staying. Let me explain to you what this soul contract is all about. So the way the soul contracts work, they exist um, so that humanity and humans can actually learn about humanity. It actually, there's a positive and a negative side of souls, you know, negative soul uh, contracts. So with the positive soul contracts, it teaches you how to like experience pure love and how to help other people um, and being around people with good intentions. You're connected to them and learn from their the contract. But on the other hand, there are negative soul contracts, okay? And these are connecting, you know, being connected to people who, and individuals who are manipulative and abusive towards others. I mean, it's basically like just everything negative that you can think of, okay? Lack of empathy, you know, people that just don't care about anyone but themselves. So this is the type of contract that we're speaking of, that negative soul contract. Some of you guys, it looks um, that have connected to individuals who are very abusive, abusive in nature, abusive in always trying to like manipulate you into doing something that they want you to do um, only to benefit for themselves. I feel as though you guys have connected to someone who is just like this. This individual has only wanted to be around you to to bring um, the negative traits to you so that they can conjure up your good um, energy. That's right to pull in your good energy and take it away from you so that they can continue to live their life. It's basically, this person was able to connect to you through family. Basically, a lot of you guys may have met this person through a family member, through a best friend, through someone who um, you just basically connected to that you knew you had, guys had um, people that you knew each other through. And what happens here is that this individual is basically tarnishing the energy from within and trying to uh, take away from your pure spirit. They're, they've seen you as a great person, a possible leader, someone who a lot of people follow and love, okay? And this energy that they see, they want it from you. So this is what's happening here. They wanted your energy the whole time. The whole contract was about them taking what you have and we've been talking about this in a couple of readings uh, before, but this message just lets you know that these individuals are negative soul contracts. This code contract definitely needs to be broken. It needs to be burned. Yes. And gotten rid of reverse. At this point, this person is not trying to have any type of pity on you. It almost feels like they love to see you down. Um, some of you guys may have even seen the smirk on their face while you were going through situations because this is the type of spirit that they have. They're negative in nature and negative in love. They don't even know what love is. So they'll continue to do this if you continue to be in this energy. It's basically time to uh, release this soul contract and move forward. And before you can even move on, you will have to cut this soul contract. You will have to get rid of it and get yourself out of it, which means you have to actually, you basically would have to not give it any of your energy at all by sitting there con concentrating on the situation being sad about it, crying over it, trying to reach back out to the person. Because sometimes with these soul contracts, it almost feels like you're unable to release this person and it continues to make you think about this person, even in dreams, even in visions. 
basically still seeing this person and even having those um telepathic messages coming through from this person because it's a soul contract this is a negative soul contract so it's basically time to release it i heard that the only way that a person can break a soul contract is if uh, a person dies or if they make a pact with the devil himself and the other way is which is uh rare cases um where the soul contract is actually broken if the individual does something positive for humanity so this is how you're going to be able to break this soul contract with this person you have to stay involved in doing something positive so at this point you're going to have to focus on doing things positive for humanity, for doing things positive for other people in order to detach yourself from this person. And as you're focusing on doing good for other people, don't focus on it just for doing it for yourself. Focus on it for being that you're doing it for people just because you want to make them happy, okay? I can tell that many of you have resented this person because of the things that they have done, the way that they lied to you and hurt you, beat you. Some of you guys were beaten by this person because they were abusive. And the way that they're they're going to have to face karma for this. But in the meantime, you're going to have to move forward, even though this seems to be a very hard decision to, to let go of. As long as you continue to focus on the goal to become better for yourself, and not just to hold on that, to that resentment for other people, you can break this soul contract, okay? See, the crazy thing about these soul contracts is that you sign them before you even come here on earth. It's basically like you deciding to come here. You meet these people before you even get here and you decide, okay, yeah, this is what I'll, I'll accept. I'll accept this contract. But sometimes the contract can actually be... Um, manipulated by individuals who are basically narcissistic people who are uh, determined to get back at other people basically not loving themselves and trying to harm other people so we do have to be careful when it comes to these effects as we vibrate higher on a higher consciousness and our minds begin to focus more on the higher consciousness instead of the low vibrations, we're able to detach and let go of these uh, demonic soul contracts, these negative con uh, contracts that we do not want to be in. See, I feel like for most of you guys, this person took your kindness for weakness. They saw an opportunity and decided to do this in order to get, get to you. Um, most individuals, they target an individual because they're very kind, very loving, very peaceful, joyful. It Basically, they are charged up off of your high vibration. And when you're vibing high, this is why you have to be careful because most of the time, you know how you something good be happening. You be so high vibrational, then something like that in a blink of an eye can be like, whoa, what happened? Like, what is really going on? And that's basically what this person is basically... Um, doing you have to make sure you're not falling for that temptation to allow individuals who are not on because they'll fake it real good they'll fake it really really good to make you think that there's someone that they're not and then you end up falling for it and you fall into that contract so it's basically let's release this thing instead of you know not e let's not even fall for it before it even come right well, this is the end of the message. I hope that you guys are able to detach yourself from the negative contracts. Yes, these negative soul contracts because they're not good for our spirit. They're not good for our soul. Even though they teach us a huge lesson, we don't want to continue to stay in it. So let's, you know, get ourselves together and make sure we're doing what we got to do. Okay, babies, for real. I love you guys so much. I thank you for listening to this message and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that if you would like a personal with me, they're only $25. We can connect on a one and on one basis and talk about this situation or any situation that you would like to look in the description bar below for the rest of the information, peace, love, and light and prosperity.